all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as it is hot in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping you go be the first we go collect them um the 11th of november is fast approaching uh, that is going to serve as the day of gubernatorial uh, election of, of some states in Nigeria, including uh, Bayasa, Kogi, and um, Imo State. And as, you see, as it is now, things are going haywire. <laughs> uh, it is not like business as usual, uh, and it's not going to be like business as usual. There has been a lot of issues in many states. Uh, like in Imo State now, there has been blackout uh, for the past five days. Then in Kogi, there, there is a serious issue that is currently going on there. Let's go down to Kogi State so that you can see what is actually happening. <laughs> you will know how uh, these politicians are, are very, how interested these politicians are in, in this election. And uh, nobody wants it for the people people now want it for their own pocket i think that's the kind of politicians we have all over the place meanwhile let's go down to the full details of the information protests rock rocks police headquarters over killing in kogi members of the social democratic party sdp on tuesday stormed the police headquarters in abuja protesting the killing of three policemen and some members of the party at aigba kogi state Governorship candidate of the party in November 11th election, Muritala Yakubu Ajaka, led the protest, accompanied by prominent party members and supporters. The candidate demanded removal and prosecution of State Commissioner of Police, CP Bertrand Onoha, alleging compromise in securing lives and properties in the state. Trouble started when some talks allegedly operating in the guise of State Joint Tax Force attacked residents of the campaign director general of SDP, Shaikh Ibrahim, in the early hours of Tuesday. Three policemen were killed during the incident while six supporters of the SDP were abducted. As at the time of filing this report from the gate of the police force headquarters, it was gathered that the SDP governorship candidate Ajaka, the campaign director general, Colonel Suleiman, Babawa retired and a former Kogi State Deputy Governor Simon Achuba were in a meeting with the Inspector General of Police Kayode Ebekotun. <laughs> uh, you, uh, this Kogi people are also demanding for the redeployment of uh, the Commissioner of Police there, which has also been what happened in Imo State, uh, where the people of Labour demanded the redeployment of the Commissioner of Mosi. Uh, police that is in Imo State. I wonder what is actually happening to democracy in Africa. And um, you look at the word of a man like MNK Ohamadike, one of Ndibo, uh, it was as if he was giving prophecies of what is actually taking place now in Nigeria. Uh, it was as if it was a prophecy uh, because everything as it stands were falling in two lines line by line and you will be imagining why is he still incarcerated in the dss custody why has he not been released and you will be wondering what has he done what was his much offense uh, is he not discharges 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 but um if you look at the the, the kind of charges that we are level against this man this will tell you what uh, uh, what his his opponents intend <laughs> no, if you look at the charges filed against him, you, uh, that will, from the charges, you will get the, the revelation of the intent of the oppositions. Because now, uh, filing a lawsuit against a man on the grounds of of, of uh, treasonable felony. <laughs> that is, treasonable felony, we talk about the overthrow of a government. It means that, you know, you come with a mass of people, uh, you know, to, you know, a plan to take over the government that's treason but i don't think that this dude did anything 
you know close to that by trying or finding a way to you know uh, you can also call it could be hectare to plan a coup or a democratic takeover from the incumbent it never happened but these are part of the files uh, that uh, suits that we have filed against him terrorism charges and the rest of them of course you know that this kind of cases are the cases that uh, if you don't have luck if you don't have favor you might end up in that case but luckily for him luckily for him uh, the, the the appellate court quashed the 17 the 15 count charges against him discharged and acquitted him that was what happened no, if you have been following the 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 the, 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 the court procedure, the results and what have been happening in the case that concerns MNK, you will know that he was discharged and acquitted. Immediately on discharge, uh, the, the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, took over the case, filed to the 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 the, 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 the Supreme Court, also filed back to, to, to the, the appellate court a stay of execution. But according to uh, 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 legal luminaries, legal juggernauts, you know, learned uh, 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 people, the elites, uh, those who understand the law, because uh, they are uh, in, in a nation, there are people who it's their work to interpret the law, and that is the judiciary. According to their interpretation, they say that Kano should have been allowed to go home first. Uh, if whatever be the case, whatever the case may be, he should have been allowed to go home on the grounds of the the bail, the 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 the, 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 the discharge and acquisition of the the appellate court. But that did not happen. DSS took him from there. Say reminded him up till up until now the door is not yet out. Meanwhile. Uh, this election got the quite war because what is currently going on? And I see they go now out of all transform and them mad. Ogajeru, Ogajeru, make you take a misio. Uh, go check the thing where they happen for your state. Uh, because this uh, anger that you people are using, shutting down electricity, the kind of loss that this thing is going to incur in this nation, uh, it has not been known before. And uh, why should it be labor that will cripple the economy of the nation? Whatever, you, every other thing should be done, but not electricity. It has never been done. It has never been done in anywhere. It has never been done anywhere. Every other thing should be closed, but not electricity. Now, uh, the, 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 the state is losing a lot of things. Uh, people are losing their transformers to criminal. People are losing their source of uh, livelihood. The student does not have water. There is no water in the state. There is no electricity. So now, uh, you, you know the amount of students in this state. How do you expect these children to survive? You know, I, I, think, uh, I think if you look at what these people are doing, both labor, uh, both the governor and the rest of them, everybody is doing this thing for, for just personal interest. It is for their personal and selfish interest, just to, you know, just to, uh, 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 you know, just to build up their ego to show they are using the masses to do show of power. You want to show the governor, the governor wants to show you that he's in charge, and he wants to show the governor that he's in charge, and you people are playing with the lives of the people. The losses that this. Uh, 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 shutting down of, of 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 electricity is going to cost in this state is going to be bigger than what you were expecting it is going to incur a big loss because as it stands now many places they are they are they are taking their transformer many places have many people have lost their transformer and in this costly nigeria costly time people will start to be buying things again it's very unfair very unfair that these politicians, these people, these activists does not even concern, uh, does not even do what what the, the 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 citizens. What they do is their own. They don't care how these things is going to affect the citizen. You took the light for for this and you have not brought it back. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the cutting here. And if this is your first time, 
of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you'll be the first day thank you for listening god bless you